Israel continues airstrikes and is preparing for a possible ground invasion. This as the U.S. is moving more air defense systems into the region to protect American military bases. Fox's Brian Yenis joins us from Jerusalem with the very latest. Brian, what's going on? Dan, good morning. In preparation for that looming ground invasion of Gaza, Israeli forces conducted their largest ground raid of Gaza yet, escalating this war with Hamas to new heights. Israeli tanks entering northern Gaza, striking infrastructure and anti-tank missile launch posts Thursday. The targeted raid, part of the next phase of their war against Hamas, following the militants' deadly attacks in Israel on October 7. We are raining hellfire on Hamas. We have already eliminated thousands of terrorists. This is only the beginning. At the same time, we are preparing for ground operation. The IDF also launching more airstrikes across the Gaza Strip to root out Hamas targets before and after satellite images showing the extent of the blast, which decimated neighborhoods and reportedly killed thousands of Palestinians. Body parts, broken skulls, empty skulls, bodies of children, body parts of children. Hospitals and United Nations crews are running out of fuel to run generators and hand out aid. Israel won't allow fuel into the region in case Hamas tries to take it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Palestinian militants are firing back, sending rockets into Israel, which killed at least four people Wednesday. This comes as U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria are facing increased attacks from Iranian-backed proxies, escalating fears the Israeli war could expand to involve other foreign players. My warning to the Ayatollah was that if they continue to move against those troops, we will respond and he should be prepared. The Hamas-backed health ministry in Gaza is reporting some 6,500 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli airstrikes. But yesterday, President Biden expressed doubt about that death toll, saying he has no confidence in the accuracy of the numbers being reported by the terrorist organization Hamas. Dan? And Brian, you mentioned some of those U.N. relief efforts that have run out of fuel, essentially. How has that affected some of the humanitarian aid that they've been trying to bring to the Palestinians? The U.N. organization that operates the refugee camps in Gaza says it is a dire situation. They could run out of fuel today. What does that mean? There are some 15 shelters in Gaza operated by the U.N., helping some 600,000 displaced Palestinians. Without fuel, they cannot operate bakeries. They cannot operate the trucks that deliver the much-needed aid that they say needs to be there now. Of course, the Israeli Defense Force says they have no confidence that that fuel will won't be used by Hamas instead. In fact, this morning, the IDF said they believe that there are plenty of days uh, worth of fuel being stored in Gaza that Hamas is using for their fighters and not helping the Palestinian people. Dan. All right, Brian, thank you very much.